things were at a virtual standstill in Ryan's hometown of Cicero, many stores closed for the day in his memory. Flags across the state flew at half-staff in honor of the 18-year-old. Sunny skies provided the backdrop for those flags early in the day, but as the funeral drew nearer, skies became ominously gray, and a cold rain began to fall. The mourners gathered, including a host of celebrities like Elton John, Phil Donahue, Michael Jackson, and First Lady Barbara Bush. The church was filled to capacity. As the service began, hundreds of people stood outside, braving the rain. Many of them stayed until the end. Mourners from all walks of life, with a common love and respect for a teenager whose life was short, but whose reach was long. Like Ryan, this man contracted AIDS from a blood transfusion. Michael Graston is planning a coast-to-coast -coast bicycle ride to raise AIDS awareness and to keep Ryan's message alive. We need money, and more money than what the government's willing to give, so that we can see that Ryan White and people like him don't keep dying. Inside the church, more tears and assurances that Ryan's life has left a lasting impression on people like classmates who are members of the girls' choir at Hamilton Heights High School. But as Reverend Ray Probosco made clear, Ryan's influence extends far beyond this church and Indiana. The teenager taught the world an important lesson. It's all right to fear AIDS, but have compassion for its victims. But at first, Ryan and the diseased were perceived as one and the same. And as we all discovered, they were so very far apart. It was Ryan who first humanized the diseased called AIDS. He allowed us to see the boy who just wanted more than anything else to be like other children. He healed a wounded spirit in a world and made it whole. Elton John closed the service with his song Skyline Pigeon. After the church had cleared out, the family and very closest friends of Ryan White gathered around his casket for a final goodbye. It was a time for tears, a time for people like Elton John to reflect upon the life of a boy who battled indifference, ignorance, and a deadly disease and enrich the world in the process. Elton John Sr. giving his buddy a thumbs up. Ryan was laid to rest in Cicero this evening after a brief 10-minute graveside service. It's been a sad day, obviously, but one filled with beauty and dignity, and it really was a most touching service this afternoon, Mike and Debbie. All right, Ken, okay. thank you. Thank you, Ken.
is in the back it has um, six CDs in the back of it. You can like just push a button to play which one. And then we're back. So, so you're, you're feeling good seeing all this after all this time? Very sad. Not right now, thank you. Michael, what made him such a special boy? Can you continue contact with the family, Michael? Jackson asked, Mr. Jackson spent uh, a weekend at the Taj Mahal as uh, Mr. Trump's guest, and uh, Michael Jackson asked me to come along. Who are you? Nobody. <laughs> uh, good luck. You're, going to, you're good going, luck. going to Cicero? Well, we well know, we're going where we like to know where the parents are, because that's what Michael Jackson would like to, to see the parents. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to find out where it is. Okay, we're going to see. Can I get your name, sir? I'm a spokesman. Can I get your name? Uh, my name is not Like to know where his mother 